Hello everyone, time to play another game on Fox. There's still 12 games before I double rank up to 1Q, so we need to get a few games down here. And I still want to try to play a little bit more on the uh, simple and solid side. So we're going to keep that up for at least a little bit longer, at least a few more videos. Looks like we might have a game. Let me click. See, I forgot to do something here. And let's play my normal opening. I really like this one so far. And I think instead of approaching, I actually have been really liking just taking my corner directly. Ah, uh, he's gonna do the same thing. All right, cool. So there's sort of two options. I could approach the bottom here, or I could do this attachment on the top. I think playing something on the top would actually make a little bit of sense. Could even just take the enclosure. But I think I think I'm going to attach. Let's try out this Joseki. Oh, it's backing off. Okay. Hmm. So I could actually just leave that now, honestly. Because I can just take an enclosure. If they Hane, then I can still get something with uh, the attachment here. Or I could still run out whenever I want to. I guess jumping once. If they wedge, I Atari, they connect, and then I can play away. I think that might be the simpler way to do this here. I don't know the actual Joseki for this. Ah, he's just going to do that. That, I think, is definitely too slow, and I can just enclose my corner. And he's going to push through. This is uh, not important at all. That's very, very slow. That's way too slow, as a matter of fact. So I will approach the bottom left, building up my area. Ooh, it's a little bit loose here. But going to keep building my area first and focus on his after. Hmm. Looks like I can kick, make him heavy, and pincer him. Building, still building this really nice area. So I think it's nice that he's uh, being very accommodating for me. Hmm. This is a little bit of a questionable move but it's questionable because I can just defend, and this makes me very strong. I could bump if he extends. There is this sort of move here at S13 that I can try to attack him with, but I think just defending my territory and my framework should be nice. If he pushes, I can just block because he's weaker than I will be. Hmm, which one do I want? For end game, this connection is better, but... This is a fight right now, so the outside connection is more important. So he's kind of alive for the most part, but this Hane right here is really nice. Um, he kind of has really bad shape. He needed to jump or something. This Hane feels really painful, honestly. Mm. Yeah, that is quite painful. So I could defend this corner now, and it might even be Sente. If I Hane and connect, and he doesn't play any moves, I can just Hane and throw in, and it is a dead shape. Though it is a dead shape anyway, so maybe I don't even need to do anything to my corner. Because if white comes in, and I go down, and they make my group strong while living, it makes it much easier for me to do something on the outside. I have so much influence and so much strength that I kind of don't even want to invade on his side. I kind of want to just jump, honestly. <laughs> this might be the right way to play. You know, it's hard to decide. Since it's hard to decide, I will just jump. This just feels nice. It feels like fun. Hmm. Now he is going to try to live here. So we just want to respond strongly, playing these little shape points. Preventing him from getting an easy base. And since we're strong all over, we can do double Hanes. And make it difficult for him. Does this ladder work? It looks like it could, but my stones over there might be in a good spot. Nope, nope, nope. Just barely doesn't work. All right, so we will just capture the stone. He needs to extend down now. Uh, did not extend down, so I will Hane for sure. 
and get rid of his ice space here. We want to make sure this group is weaker because they didn't defend themselves. Oh, yeah, themselves, yeah. There's no eyes here, so he has to keep running out. And through running out, hmm, did not run out because this is only one eye, right? They needed to run towards the outside here. Well, there's not really a way for me to build too much on this side. And I'm already sort of strong everywhere. So instead of attacking this group right now, uh, as I said, I want to try to... Now starts. Oh, yeah, Fiomi. I want to try to do more uh, territorial focus so we can invade the corner or invade the side here. I think we want to invade the corner first because if they block from this side... Yeah, then that's really, really good for us. You should never block from this side if you can handle it. Well, now we can extend here. And now this pincer becomes a very strong attack against White's group. Ah, so they're just going to live directly. And we can just strengthen our group. Even if he can get this cut to get some territory, we could strengthen our group like this. Mm, is that a good idea? Oh, does the cut work for the ladder for me? It does. So, yeah, let's strengthen our group. We want this move. And then we can turn here. That move threatened to capture the three stones, which would be good enough. Letting him push through here wouldn't matter if I captured those three stones. Okay, I like that he's trying to defend. This has a little bit of weakness. So I wouldn't mind jumping here to protect it and gain a little bit of extra strength. But the other thing I could do is defend Nine, this uh, point seven, here for six, end game. Five, four, and it sort three, of helps with that. Two. So let's try that one. Because now if they try to run this stone out, I should be able to Hane and capture it without any problems. Hmm, okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate this sort of help. I don't really need to worry about any sort of points here. And we just need to worry about making some points on the top of the board since they want to play this way. So we can do... Uh, oh, They're just going to make this I. That should be good. So now we can just... Uh, let's see. Three spaces could be too far, but we do have this stone as support. So let's go three spaces. If they invade, we can use this stone to make another base on the other side. Oh, okay. I don't even know what to play. Nine. I guess just eight. jumping up here to help protect this should be good. And hmm. Looks like I can go up. And attack these two stones. Because I have a strength that I can run to with my two stones here on the top, right? So when I'm running out this direction in this fight, I'm able to run towards something. If it was all white stones over here, then I would have wanted to try to connect instead. Uh, this move isn't really threatening my three stones. Nine, eight, seven. So it looks like... Six, five, four, three. Looks like I can Atari here. Because he's not alive on the other side, right? Looks like we can capture the, these stones. Those, uh, those stones are important. And this stone doesn't really matter. Something to look at here is that if he captures this stone, he gets almost an eye. But if I have a stone here, he actually doesn't get the eye. So if I extend here and he captures the stone, then I can always play here to get rid of that eye. So this capture doesn't really do anything. So that was an unimportant stone. But now I can just jump out here to protect my three stones and fight against his little group here. And I don't need to try to cut anything off and kill it, so I'm just going to jump one more time. And so we want to try to connect up to my group on the left side. Okay, he keeps peeping, but that's not really helping him. He still needs another move here to connect. Uh, he did not connect, so I'm going to cut him off. He can still connect on the other side with this move. There we go. But now his other group is not alive. 
So now that we have a basic strength around here, he can probably do something if he needs to. But what we need to try to do is turn this left side into a little bit of territory. And so I think playing this knight's move kind of starts to surround something here. And you see we're very strong in the area. He only has the one eye. We could play here to try to be very aggressive and get rid of his eyes, or we could play here as well. We're not going to worry about that. What we want to do is see his strength over here. We want to attach here to threaten the Atari on the stones. We get this Atari, which is nice. We get this connection, which allows us to cut this stone off and get a lot of points if we want it. Oh, that was actually a pretty good move, trying to reduce, potentially reduce or do something here. Um, we don't need to extend here yet. We could double Hane here and just try to get a couple points in this area. Nine, eight, seven, but can he do something six, by pushing five, me down? Four, three, two, one. He might be able to. Let's see. Is he going to push me down? Ah, uh, no, he did not. I think he should have tried to do that. Um, and then I can protect both my cutting points with one move. Which is nice. He can clamp here, though, to get a couple of points on this side. Um, but I was able to get some points in this area. Ooh, this is a little bit of a questionable move. I could try to go in for the kill right now because this extension here prevents him from getting this eye. But I'm just going to block it off. He's donating an extra point so that he can get an eye in Sente. But he could have played that move anyway because it would have been a very similar result. And it looks like we can just protect our group here, protect our points. Yes, very simple. So now we just need to look at some big end game moves. Um, normally, Hanes would be very large to play. Uh, however, in this case, it's looking like uh, this center has some weakness. Nine, and so I want to eight, play a move seven, that helps protect six, that center weakness. Five, four, so I'm going to do this one, which gives me a couple points and makes it so that he can't cut off or kill any of these stones. After that is protected, uh, he can get a sentry move here if he wants to. Uh, that move, um, okay, I'll respond. But now he can't get this sente move. But after this area is protected, we can go back to playing big uh, end game. This kick should be okay to defend my area. We can get this Hane, which is fairly large. There isn't really a way to cut off anything or to prevent him from having... Well, Nine, there, there is actually a way to prevent eight, him from having two seven, eyes. Six, he does not five, actually have two eyes four, here. Three, two, um, one. So that's just Hane. It's a very big move. There's this Hane on the bottom, which he should probably play. Or, okay, he did play it. <laughs> My mouse was covering it, so I didn't notice that he played there. Uh, that move was not big or important, but this one was very big. This is a double sente move, kind of. Let me see. It's almost a double sente move. You will eventually need to play another move there. Uh, now he does need to play another move there. Okay. But now I can push through on this side. But first, I want to get this Atari and then push through here. If we can jump, there we go. So this was a, probably a good order of moves for him. So he did a good job with that. Now, there's not quite anything here, but it looks like Nine, I could push. Eight, Any other big in-game moves? Five, four, so I think eight, I want to push two. here. Looks like I can do this one. and still threaten him. Um, we want to sort of poke at his eye space here. This feels like potentially good in gamey stuff. Let 
Might as well Atari. He probably has to play another move somewhere. Hmm. Well, this one should be Sente. Now he's not alive. This eye is not an eye. So there's actually something good to uh, potentially look at here, right? How many eyes does this group actually have? I think, I think this group actually has no eyes, except for one, right? One right here, right? If I Hane here, they do this one. I throw in here. They block. I just connect up, and there's no Nine, eye here, right? Eight. And there's no way to make Six, this one five, into an eye. Four, three, two, one. So it looks like we could kill this group right Two now. Yo left. Um, sure, let's do it. <laughs> uh, do I need to throw in first? That looks like I can just Hane first. Yeah, it looks like Hane is good. I took all my territory. I took all my points. I get to reward myself with uh, killing a group at the very end. Oh, they're thinking about it now, yes. Yoyomi now starts. I think it's just dead. I think there's no way for it to live. I can just uh, turn in here. There is a little bit of Aji here on the outside that I will have Nine, to worry about. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Oh, he's doing that one first. That one doesn't really change anything. We can just poke the eye. Uh, we get this Atari, which is nice. Then we throw in here. It seemed like they realized they weren't uh, alive, so reading was actually fairly good. I think they just lost track of their group, which is uh, kind of interesting. Because um, they read it out, they realized that they couldn't quite do anything. They tried a few different moves. Um, so that was interesting. Okay. We just capture the stones here. Then there's no Aji with this cut. I like that he's trying this, though. Okay, he resigned. Uh, I will not play him again. I'm sorry. So, before we look at anything else in the game, <laughs> we want to see, uh, let's say, before this, Right here, it should say that's alive right now. Let's see what the score estimate says about the points in this game. It looks like White really only has points in the upper left corner, whereas I have three. Well, I have yeah three fairly large areas on the board, and then this middle area as well as some extra points. So I'm ahead by over forty six point five points, over forty points. So I was going to say. So I don't need to kill this group, but I think I did a good job, and I was able to reward myself. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, so he owed one more move. This was too much for him to play. And he needed to play this one. He can play this one, I guess. T10. And that should be alive, I think. Okay, I don't think there's too much that I really need to go over in this game. But let me check really quick to see if there's anything that I think is important to point out. Because I think uh, my opponent actually played fairly well. And they will probably honestly be ranking up soon um, based on how I feel like they played. Let me actually check. Yes, it looks like in a few games they will quite literally rank up, so that's good. I should probably start checking that before I play. I don't want to play someone who's about to rank up, like who's one game away. He wasn't one game, but I don't want to play anyone who's one game away. So I looked over the game fairly quickly, and I think there's only one thing that they actually need to improve in order to probably get to that rank up, and it's how they're defending their groups. For example, this move here. Um, this is not necessarily a bad move, but I would call this like an emergency measure. So what happened in the game was that they just sort of made this living shape, kind of living shape here. Um, it's not really living because this isn't a big enough space to live, but it's also kind of a painful shape because I get this Hane on the outside. At this point, they could jump up uh, if they really want to play this, or they could try to do something uh, with the corner. However, just from the beginning, after this pincer, they should just jump and escape here. Yes, I might be able to build something, uh, but that was sort of the price they paid for coming in over in this direction. If they wanted to 
play a better way here. It could have been nice to approach on this side, preventing the area or limiting the area that is uh, threatening to grow the most. Or even do some sort of uh, splitting attack here, or splitting move here. And then later on, it was a similar sort of thing here. I think this invasion is a newer invasion that AI is sort of suggesting to people, so I don't think this is necessarily bad. Um, but after this, and they extend and I protect myself, instead of running out towards the center here, even though that does break up the area, the second black gets this Hane, white doesn't have any eyes on the bottom. So this is an important place for white to play to make eyes. But the problem is if I surround them, it's uh, they kind of have to live directly now, right? So I believe what they're wanting to do here is probably jump out towards the center a little bit more. Again, like jumping towards the center um, seems to be fairly useful here. If I try to push and cut, this stone is actually going to be very useful now in that they can capture this in a ladder. And there is some weakness here, but now I can turn, which is threatening this Atari, which would give white a very good shape. If I kill this stone, white has this really nice tiger's mouth shape towards the center and is threatening to reduce this area over here for me. And if I protect my points, then white should be able to make simple shapes like this or this to start building some more eye space. If I have to attack from the center, uh, white is able to push and potentially Hane and do this move to create some really nice, easy eye space in the area. If I try to prevent that eye space, now white is able to come out towards the center again with at least one eye on the board, maybe even do an attachment here. So just the technique for living in an area needs to be slightly improved. And the other option the white has, of course, is just to push up with this stone, because this is sort of what you're threatening here, is this pushing up here. Could do the Hane first, but the Hane potentially allows me to turn. So pushing up, if I Hane, I should, you should be able to make some shape here uh, fairly easily. Apart from that, I think white played really well. So before we go, I want to say thank you to the people who are supporting me on Patreon right now. I think I have uh, four people, and I uh, very much appreciate it. And the more people that I can get to support me on Patreon, uh, the more likely I'll be able to record some of the lectures that I've been planning. So if you'd like to support me in that, uh, please check out the description of the video and head on over to my Patreon. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for checking out the video, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Hope you're having a nice day and have fun.